Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel for another video. And we're just taking a quick look at Crypto Bubbles because honestly, it's such a nice feel right now. Isn't it just a great feel? Let me know in the comment section how you're feeling about the current movement of the market. It's so alleviating to have gone through that sort of real poor time of no movement, not many opportunities to so many opportunities coming up to make gains. You just don't kind of know what to go with at this point. Is this a fake out? Is this a real deal? We don't know. All we can do is appreciate what we have in the current time. So LUNC is currently doing something very interesting. It's trying to break out of this area of resistance. <clears throat> and the reason why I'm pitching this area as the area of resistance is because if we look back, we have come up and we've tried to punch out of this area a couple of times. When we first came down to this zone, we can see a small punch out here and then again on this head of that head and shoulders pattern now if we move this back over and take a closer look up here i've got this on a 30 minute candle i know some people are oh my god in all the candles but it gives me a really good image as to what's going on with swapping coming back online with mobile use going through the roof and Realistically, the numbers don't lie at this point. We've reactivated swaps and those are instantly being utilized and used across the community already. Validators are going to be using that to do their swaps again. We're seeing things happen on chain once again. And this is really important because mobile use cases, everything in our day and age. What does every single person on this planet normally have? A mobile phone and they don't go anywhere without it it's stuck by your side we all know this and like i said the numbers don't lie they're quite strong as to the use case with mobile and something that we need to understand and everybody needs to come to terms with is there's not going to be a third party wallet for lunc because we have a working system which is provided by tfl and support will be continued for v3 as i've been explaining previously and you know that support is going to be there from what I've been made aware of for the indefinite future, because we're part of this ecosystem, right? So it's really good news for us all around that we're getting these different things. We're getting continued support, the swapping's back online, and we are in control of our chain at this point. We're more unified. We're getting things done. And that is now being reflected on the price chart because sentiment is what drives everything. Okay, if you're feeling good, the person next to you is feeling good and that person next to them is feeling good and they go and tell their friends that this is really good. And that's kind of how this really starts to boil up and swell up to what it is. What I want to see now from my point of view is a real, real strong hold, setting a new trend line, even if it's just slightly above this area of resistance and we see a steady increase, nothing too drastic. OK, because if we come up too fast, we're going to come crashing down just as fast as we did. Setting these little lines, these areas where we're sort of moving up ever so slightly, so important for our price action right now. But for me, we have punched out of this resistance area and this is looking like a possible confirmation. What we want to see is the confirmation now fall onto that daily candle pattern. And if we go in and we have a look, we are possibly seeing this cup and handle now playing out and possibly going to really go up for this target area which I've been explaining about which is this kind of 7,600 points per coin range this is a good area for us I feel like we're worth this much we've got the community to back this we've got the development happening and we've got the support on chain where we need it and this is all important factors for any cryptocurrencies economy and every cryptocurrencies economy is based on their community and the community sentiment that surrounds that cryptocurrency and that is the simple physics behind what moves price folks short sweet stay safe stay humble stay aware and as always we'll catch you in the next price action mm -hmm.